Welcome to Tiger Stop. Today we're going to show you how to adjust the carriage on a saw gear. Okay, to adjust the carriage, we're going to show all the different things that you can adjust on the carriage and go over why. Uh, a lot of people think that to calibrate a saw gear, you just adjust the foot at the end of the stop here, and that is one way to do it, but it's much more effective to use the calibration key here. The reason you would want to change the length on the stop is to see how close you get to the saw blade. So depending on how your saw gear is set up and what kind of tool you have it set up on, that can vary. So the first thing you'll be adjusting then is the tension on the, the stop itself. So we like to get these nice and tight. That way, anytime that you hit the stop, it will not move and cannot move. So you want to make sure that you're pretty tight there and be aware that you can lift up on these locking handles and turn them back and forth to help with the adjustment there. The second thing that we'll look at is the adjustment for the back fence. Okay, So there's two screws with a three millimeter uh, Allen key to adjust the ride height. So by pushing those screws in, that actually puts the stop out from the fence. So the reason that's important is you can have that either ride directly against the back fence. Sometimes it'll shatter, um, and then you can move that out a little bit to keep it from rubbing or keep it nice and tight if you're using miters. The other adjustments that are on here, uh, if you look at the top of the carriage and lift up the flip away, there's four points under the flip away that adjust tension. The only reason you would need to adjust those is to tighten them if your carriage is overly loose. So what that does is adjust the uh, glides that are on the carriage down against the fence and keeps tension there. 